Hi, in this video we'll look at getting started with Audacity. Now, if you don't already have Audacity, you can simply do a Google search and uh, we're going to get started with that. Simply go to Google, www.google.com and type Audacity. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with any of these audio recording tools, Audacity is a free and open source audio editing and recording application. And so once we have done this search, we can go ahead and find the page, the website that says audacityteam.org. And we can go ahead and go to the download option here. All right, so notice you have the option for Windows, Mac, and also Linux. Now you can choose based on the platform you're using. So I'm gonna click on the option here for Windows, Audacity for Windows. Okay, so the current version we have is 2.42 at this recording. Uh, I presume that you may have a later version if you're listening to this video recording at a later date. So you can always check the version to make sure that you have the latest one. So I'm gonna go to the option here for the download file. You notice that we have two options. One is the installer which includes a manual right here. And the other is a smaller file without user manual. You don't need to worry about user manual because it's already online anyways. So I'm going to go to the installer option here. I'm just going to click on it, the link, and it will take me to this external website, foshub.com. And I'm going to just scroll down here to where we have the download options. And I'm going to choose the option for Audacity Windows Installer. So I'm going to click on this and in a short time you should see your file being downloaded. My internet connection is a bit slow. Alright, so once this has been downloaded you can go ahead and you can click on that exe file and of course, you can choose the option to run and install the file. I've already installed this application, so I'm not going to go through with the installation process, but it's very, very simple and straightforward. You just simply uh, click on yes or run the application, double click on the file that is downloaded in your downloads folder and choose the option to run. And uh, then you can go through and select the I agree to the terms and conditions and next until it's finished. Now once it's finished you should see a shortcut on your desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop now and uh, the, you should see a shortcut here for launching the application Audacity. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Now, the first thing that you'll see pop up is a window like this, and it's simply showing you different ways in which you can get support. As I said, the manual is also online, so if you didn't install it locally, it's not a problem. You can always go there. There's a quick help option and a form as well. Um, just gonna, if you don't want to see this again, you can just check here. Don't show this again. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click on OK. All right, so to make your first recording. We're just going to have a quick look at the settings here, or not the settings, but the setup in terms of the toolbar that you have and the different icons and tools you have to work with. So you notice that first up you have your pause button. These are standard icons you would probably be familiar with already. You may have used it in different applications. And so these are very uh, straightforward play an intuitive stop and of course you can go back to the beginning of your recording to the end of your recording and of course the 
red button represents your record option. We also have a number of other icons here, like your zoom. We have your select tool, and we have your envelope tool, and we have your time shift, your multi-tool, your draw tool. And just beside that, you have your recording levels. And then below that, we can see uh, that we have, you can see your recording uh, level here in terms of volume and also your playback level in terms of the volume as well. Uh, you notice that by default, it should pick up your microphone that you're using. So make sure you select the correct microphone here. And uh, by default, if you're doing a recording just for audio uh, purposes, you can go with mono. Star usually when you're doing music, recording music, etc. All right, so we're going to leave everything as default and we're going to show you how to make your first recording, how to save it, and do some simple editing. So let's go ahead and record something. Hi, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on Audacity. Click on stop here to end. All right, so what you're actually seeing here, and you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to, you can expand it. This is simply just the audio recording we just did. You're seeing the, the spaces that have nothing on it, or just a single line represents silence, okay, at the beginning. And then where you're seeing these little mountains, so to speak, represents your audio wave. All right, so you can use the zoom option if you wanted to zoom in a little bit uh, more. And uh, once you click on the zoom icon, you'll see that your mouse icon appears like a magnifying glass. You can click on that, and it allows you to zoom a little bit. If you don't want the track to be too long, of course, we're going to use this option here that says fit project to width. I'm going to click on that and it will pretty much get everything back into uh, the window. So we're going to look at how you save this file now that you have recorded it. Okay, so we can go to the file menu and then you have the option to save this project which allows you to make future editing on this uh, track if you so desire or you can choose to export if you choose to export, you're really exporting just the end product. And in this case, you can you have a number of different options here. Usually you want to go with MP3 format, which is the more popular standard for audio recordings, especially because this is compressed in such a way that it's more portable. All right, so we can click on export. And it's usually going to save that to your Audacity folder. And you can just give it a name, uh, sample, okay, and leave everything here as a standard, as a uh, default, all right, this is a standard uh, for your quality, etc. So we'll leave it as it is. All right, uh, you don't need to worry too much about this. This is metadata tags, uh, really is for music, recording, etc. So we're gonna leave that as it is. I'm just gonna click on cancel there. All right, so uh, just a little tip here. Since I already have my recording, I can do some simple things if I wanna cut a part, a portion of it. Let's replay it though to, to hear how this sounds. And we're gonna do that uh, shortly. Let's just click on play. Hi, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on Audacity. Click on stop here to end. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I think my audio is a little bit low and that's why you didn't hear it as loud. But let us look at some of the things we can do. I'm gonna bring this back into perspective, fit the project window or width. I'm going to actually do another recording to show you how this actually changed. I'm going to delete this recording. I'm just going to select and press delete on the keyboard. And this is how you delete a track if you probably don't want it based on how it sounds. Okay, so I'm going to delete. 
and I'm going to re-record uh, all that I just said. Let's do it again. So back to the beginning, record. Hi, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on Audacity. What I should have done, let me just do that again. I'm going to select and delete. I'm going to increase my recording volume. That's really what I wanted to do there before I do this. So I'm going to redo that. Let's do it again. Hi, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on how to use Audacity. All right, wonderful. So you notice the sound waves are a little bit higher and you really want to get them in the region between 0 0.5 and 1.0, okay? Um, or should I say anywhere between that, minus 0.5, minus 1, etc. It shouldn't pass this space right here at the top. Let me just click on my select tool so you can see what I'm talking here. It should not pass right here, all right? You really want it to stay you really want it to stay within this uh, region, okay, at the top and this region below. All right, so the next thing we wanted to do is to show you how you can remove, for example, the silence that you have at the beginning. Now, you can just simply use the Select tool, which we already clicked on here, Selection tool, and we're going to click and drag. It's very intuitive. Right here, we have your, uh, just a straight line. It means there's just a lot of silence there, and we can just press the lead key on the keyboard, or you can just simply click on the cut um, option here at the top. Once you do that, you notice that what was there disappeared, right? Um, that goes also for anywhere inside your recording. You know, anything you want to delete, maybe something didn't sound too right, or there is an, a, a part that you don't want to keep for whatever reason, uh, you can just remove that, okay? So, uh, let me play it again and see if there's anything that I want to remove. Uh, let me get my volume to be as high as I have it here. So you can hear. Okay, let me just replay that for us here. Go back to the beginning. And hit play. Hi, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on how to use Audacity. All right, here we go. So it's a little bit better. So at the end here, there's another thing that you can actually do. So if you have a space at the end that you want to remove, as well as the beginning, you can actually use the option here. First of all, let me just click here. All right, you can actually use the option here that says trim audio outside selection. Instead of the entire track, I'm gonna just select where I actually want to keep and it will remove the rest. So let's just do that. So we highlight our selection here, and then I'm gonna click on Trim Audio Outside Selection, and that should remove uh, the extra space that we have. So what we want to do now is to use the Time Shift option, and the Time Shift option, notice that we have a little gap here uh, based on the space that we just removed or uh, the silence that we just removed. So we want to use the time shift option now to make sure that our recording starts at the very beginning of the track. So I'm gonna click on time shift. And then what that allows you to do is to just drag this anywhere you want to drag it based on where you want uh, your audio to start in terms of time. And so I'm gonna just drag it back down to the beginning. It just snaps in place there. And so if I play this again for you to hear, you'd realize that it starts from the very beginning and there is no, uh, there is no space there. All right, welcome to this introductory video tutorial on how to use Audacity. All right, so notice it just started from the beginning. So there are a number of things you can do, as I said, you can copy as well, you can highlight a portion and if you want to actually put that on a new track, oh, by the way, if you actually want to do another recording on this track, you can actually do that. So if I want to just continue, maybe I'm not finished yet, I'll just click on record. We'll go to the end of your recording, which is right here. Notice this little line that gives you some help and the hand, which shows you that this is the end of your recording. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the record button again. I'm going to add something more. 
Okay, just to add an additional point. All right, and there you go. So um, if we go back here, um, we can actually do some copy and paste as well. So if we want to get another um, recording, we can go ahead and just uh, create another track. So we can go to Tracks, and then we can go to Add New and Mono Track. Sorry. And then I'm going to just, uh, let's say I want to copy what I just recorded and just paste it somewhere else. Selection tool is already selected. I can go ahead and select all of this. And I can go ahead and click on copy here, which is Control C. So there are some things that may be intuitive for you. I'm going to select this track here. And then I'm going to Control V and paste. So whatever I had here was copied. If I wanted to remove it, Altogether, I could have just used the cut and paste feature, and that would already uh, be removed. So there we go, cut. All right. So whichever um, option you want to use, you can use that without moving a particular part or portion of your current track to another location. That would be um, moving it would be cutting it, and duplicating it would be copying. All right. So I hope that you have learned something from this uh, video tutorial. You can look all for more tutorials in which I'll show you how to do some basic editing. But uh, this is pretty much it. And once you're finished, you can go to File and you can go to Export. And of course, if you want to save the project itself, you can just go to Save and Save Project. For the first time, Save Project. If you're saving it with a new name, you can go to Save As. So I'm just going to go to Save Project. And what this is actually uh, telling you is that this is not an audio file. So we already saved this as an MP3. We could do that again. But before I do that, I'm going to save the project itself. I'm just going to call it Sample 1 and click on Save. This will save it as an Audacity project. So you'll open this back in Audacity to make editing to the work that you already done. If you want to export this as an audio file, we're going to use MP3 here. Go to Export and mp3 and I'm going to save this as sample 2 and click on save and uh, there we go no problem that's it and we can ignore this as we said before this is for musicians and when you're creating your own music all right so this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching I hope that this video helped you in some way look out for more in this series Please remember to subscribe, share, like. Thank you.